Welcome back, everybody. It is time to see what's clicking in Cleveland. And for that, we bring in our digital anchor, the amazing, the incomparable Stephanie Haney. Hey there, Stephanie. Good to see you again. Great to see you, January. Wow, what an introduction. You know, as you were saying earlier in the show, it is a hot topic of conversation right now whether wearing masks outdoors is necessary to stop the spread of COVID-19. So here's what our three news viewers had to say when we asked them about it. By far, the most comments came from people asking, wait, when were people wearing masks outside to begin with? Now, of course, it depends on where you are, but I will say this. I have seen people, myself included, wearing them outside in downtown Cleveland, and a lot of them. A few people say we do need masks outside in certain cases, like if you're at a bus stop or walking to one, or if you're maybe at a park walking your dog and there are a lot of people close by. That's the situation for me when there's lots of people close by. And there are those who say it's necessary for them because they're not getting vaccinated against COVID and wearing one is keeping them healthy and helping their allergies. Now, along those lines, a couple of people say, yes, we need to keep wearing masks outside because of the people who aren't vaccinated and that we should keep doing it until we get to those herd immunity vaccination levels, that 80 to 90 percent, what this person says here. All right, now Cedar Point is bringing back an iconic piece of park history. It's this guy. Mercury, the statue of the Roman god for travelers and tricksters. Now, previously, this was in storage since 2016, and now he's back at the Val Raven roller coaster gate. Cedar Point's Tony Clark tells us this statue came from the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair, brought back here by the president of the company way back then. If you want to bone up on more Cedar Point statue history, people can head to WKYC.com. There are lots of cool details there, and you can see Mercury and all of the other statues at Cedar Point when the park reopens. On May 14th, January, we've got more details coming about those safety protocols, including if you're going to have to wear your masks outside at Cedar Point, we're going to hopefully hear more about that on Monday. All right, that's definitely news we can use. Thank you so much, Stephanie Haney. Jay